All right, sideboard still bugged. It is what it is. Check out the link in the description for the deck list if you want to see that, if you want to see the sideboard mostly. But uh, yeah, this deck is pretty disgusting, and I hate it. And I hate it because Slickshot is freaking broken. This creature is nonsense. The plot ability, the ability to cast it for zero on a turn after you cast the plot. So on the next turn, basically, at least. You can cast it two turns down the line if you want to, but you just plot it, and then you can cast it for zero sorcery speed on a future turn, right? So that's really good. It gets plus two plus so per non-creature spell that you cast during that turn. And that is absolutely disgusting with the rest of the prowess creatures, the code breaker that can re redraw you a bunch of cards, the druid that can re redraw you a few cards, uh, protection spells, pump, pump, pump. It's nonsense. And the reason I'm playing Naya instead of Gruul or something else is because this is the breaker for the mirror matches. This is Angel Fire, one of my favorite cards. It absolutely dominates when you hit it. When you hit it on like any prowess creature, really, it just pops, it pops off so hard. And you're going to get the life swing. You have the vigilance swing, which means you have a blocker potentially if you want it. The giving haste part of it is not super relevant, but can be. You still have the scamp and the druid that can't haste. So that's somewhat relevant. And then the flashback is also a key thing. So it's it's card advantage as well. Sure, it's expensive, but the value is crazy, right? Like this is an insane card. If you land it in the mirror, you're probably going to win. So yeah. Yeah, I think it's worth it. The mana base is slightly worse, of course, but eh, we got an extra fast land now. So it's a little bit, it's a little bit better for sure. And I think it's definitely worth it. So I'm gonna leave you with that. I'm not gonna elaborate too much on this. You've seen it before, and you've probably seen it against you on ladder because it's freaking everywhere. It's so insane. Not this deck specifically, but like maybe Gruel, maybe Mono Red. Uh, it's getting out of hand. So, but the good news is I will finish with this is that you can counter this deck pretty easily if you just play a bunch of spot removal and like, you know, lockdown or not not even lockdown really, just uh, just spot removal spells and maybe some life gain. You can probably beat this deck pretty easily, but nobody's kind of respecting it. So it's kind of running over all the mid-range decks and the control decks and like all that stuff. But yeah, you probably go in black and just run a bunch of spot removal and you're probably fine. So yeah, there's counterplay, but it's still really insane. Either way, I'll leave you with that. Alright, this is better. <laughs> you would play the high noons. I don't think that's very good. Very low tempo. Everybody's playing red. Cool. I mean, this, I can tell this is broken as hell, but like, yeah, the, the prowess shit is so, so dumb. It really is. It really is. I think Naya prowess is probably just the best. I mean, I don't see any reason to not splash for this. I think the mana's good. The only downside is, like, past four mana, you're not Guaranteed an untapped land, I guess. Which I think is fine. The trade-off is that you have a much better matchup into prowess, right? Which is probably worth it. Oh, you can't plot a card from, from this section right now. Do I die here, actually? Because I don't have... Maybe I'm so I was supposed to play that. Yeah, I was supposed to play that. I was supposed to play Casting Druid. I might die here, yeah. Yes. Oh, this does not proc. Okay, well. <laughs> Alright, I can just die here then. I mean, I think I'm just dead. If this kills me off of 16, that's actually insane. You're building the white black deck? I don't know. It. A lot of decks don't work in, in this uh, situation, I think. I'm not dead, but I'm also kind of dead. Now. 
not dead, but I'm also dead. I mean, they had like triple removal spell and I misplayed, but. And they also had the show off and I don't. It, may, it might be like a show. It might be. It's going to be pretty annoying if this is like just a sh whoever draws show slick shot first. It'd be pretty annoying. I hope that's not the case. But we'll see. I did forget about Kumano's text, so that's my fault. I mean, the fact that if I do manage to win this game, I think after misplaying multiple turns, then that's a good sign. Well, actually, my misplay ended up working out because then they don't have removal for Druid. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Like, the exact situation ended up being okay because they just didn't have... Well, they used the removal spell when they shouldn't have. And then they don't have an answer for Druid. All, cal all planned. They might, maybe they were just not expecting this. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious if you're seeing Naya that that's going to happen, probably. Mm, it could be five damage. I might as well not block. I, am I dead to five extra? No, it's one off. They, I think they actually drew it. Another, another frenzy. Even if they do plus five, it's not enough. It's not enough. It's close. Oh no, prowess. Oh yeah, no, no, I can't. Wait, did I count the prowess? Oh no, that's not prowess. No, I did calculate the plus two. It's not prowess. Okay. Uh, like, the fact that this just won me the game by itself is a good sign, I guess. Very good sign. Alright, sideboarding is kind of weird. Four color otter angel fire? No. I guess I don't want to hold too many snakeskin veils in this matchup on the draw. Like, it is clutch, but it's also... No, it's clutch. Maybe just minus one rage. I think it's fine. Maybe it's minus one slick shot. No, slick shot's really good with angel fire. And veil. Just minus one kumano. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I don't know. I played that horribly, but... <laughs> again, like, the... The Angel Fire is such a swing card that it's just it's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Okay, now the, the issue with this situation is that I have to play Kumano turn one, and I'm very heavily incentivized to Guardian on turn two. And I think I will, but it's very low, like, obviously interacting is less dangerous, but it's easier for me to stabilize past that point with the Guardian, especially if they're on one mana. Extremely weak turn two, yeah, that's that's game losing turn two, especially because I actually have the best opener for my post board setup and I have the best fall, like I have the best hand possible. I have Interaction, I have Angel Fire, I have Indestructible. I could probably swing, right? Wait, is there exert? Oh, endless. I want mana here and no veil. Yeah.
I guess the only problem is that they can tap my guardian if I target with this, but I mean, I could just choose a spot where that's not relevant. And I can always just hold up. Yeah, I, like I don't have to slam this turn three. This is just a card that forces them to use interaction. And then eventually they just kind of run out. I think they have the five damage spell, it doesn't matter, right? Yep. Like it's it's so dumb. They can't recover. If I have that, if I have this kind of setup. Okay. Who wants to play when you can't even build sideward? True. Oh, we we have it. We have it. <laughs> Oh man, this is degenerate. Ah, this card is so dumb. I'm just gonna cast one, I don't care. Client's getting worse every time. Yeah, it is what it is. That's uh, that's what you sign up for. It's another reason I'm not sad about getting the hell out soon, probably. Oh, they have cut down. Well, whatever. I've got another one. It's fine. I mean, I'm, I would assume the best way or the most popular way to like interact with, in this meta is just four cut down. You just people are probably just going to start forcing that into their builds because it's so good against these decks. They have another cut down. That's so unlucky. It's like the it's the worst case scenario for me every time. Alright, enough Kirby. No. Wait, I'm out of cards. Oh, shit. <laughs> what the? Hold up. Wait, why am I not playing the case? Isn't that better than Questing Druid? I mean, it is and it isn't. No, it probably isn't. What in the... What the hell is this? Sure. Don't really care. Do I? No, I can't cast that. Bristlebud Farmer's Gas. It looks pretty cool. Four mana, five, five. No, it's actually insane. Damn, there are so many cards I've not seen, actually. Oh, they have another bat. Yeah, probably. I'm actually... This is kind of crazy. Isn't this an insane mono green card? Because you have card advantage and a 5-5 five, five trampler. Sounds insane to me. They found another cutdown. Yikes. Yeah, this is nonsense. <laughs> Super good. Or you can just, yeah, eat the food for life. Yeah, this card's insane. Super crazy card. Is this sorcery? Yeah. So we have two. This is three damage. We have... Depends what I get off that, basically. So this is five. No, we don't have it, so. Probably gonna flip this, I guess.
Flippity flip. I feel like I'm gonna lose here. Too much incoming damage and I don't have enough card draw. No angel fire. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like that angel fire cat has two uses, so it's kind of like card advantage. Pretty important. Actually, I think, yeah, you wouldn't play mono green, but Golgari is probably really good right now. I think it kind of farms prowess. I think it can farm prowess. I'm not sure it does, but I think it can. If you build it right, you probably farm prowess. Creature is good against prowess. I think this card's good against prowess, kind of. Kind of maybe. I mean, it depends, right? You don't have good flying blockers, so if you can't interact with this, you probably die anyways, but... Ace up. Glissa, but with flying. Maybe. If they have interaction for this, I lose anyways, so. Who cares? I mean, I, th I think they obviously don't, because they would have killed it on their turn. They have no reason not to. Alright, then that means I'm still in a good spot. Dead on board. One top duck. But yeah, this matchup seems tough, because they could also sh shield red. Oof. I think I'm dead. Another one off. Jeez. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, I think actually Golgari is good as hell. Yeah, because now it has, a, it, has, it has actual racing potential. Oh, yeah, yeah. This, this deck is good. I can tell. The stat lines are getting like out of hand. And, and now it has speed too, which was the... It was the only thing that Green Black was missing. It was just the fact that they can't pressure you that much if you just kind of interact with them slowly like you could just tap out against them you could just go like sweeper but now they can do six five haste in response and then you're like okay well that's not great like you can't really tap out anymore if you're like pretty low you kind of have to always respect it and it's it's way more threatening than this because that's trample right and it has six power as the same mana cost but okay yeah this is going to be <laughs> I mean, interesting. Very interesting. Maybe go forge. I'm. I'm also thinking about bringing in the five damage spell in the sideboard for mid range matchups. But I don't know. Maybe. Maybe you just don't care. Just power through them. Maybe. I guess the deck lacks first strike now because we used to. This used to be a double striker deck, and you used to not care about interaction as much. But I think in this deck, you actually do care about interaction more. Because you have grounded creatures with prowess, and those actually need to bypass creatures. You can't just. Like, Preacher, Glissa. You can't just fight those.
I mean, in a way, Show Off has pretty bad synergy with Kumano. Maybe you have to cut Scamp in these matchups. It's possible. If I had, yeah, I had the mistake I made was not bring like not putting the five damage spell on my sideboard because now I can't even act like a yeah I can't even transition to a forge deck with removal spells, which would be fine in this situation I think. That's actually not a good play because now I get two phase instead of zero. <laughs> My hand is... Okay, I need the case, right? I also need case. Yeah, I need a few things. A few things are missing here that are very important. Very important. I actually cannot afford to hold this. It's just too... I'm in a horrible spot. I cannot... I cannot hold it. I need every point of damage at this point. <laughs> I'm so dead. Yikes. Yeah. Doesn't really matter. Anything could happen there and it would be bad. That's good. Like, they could just have tempo. Like, it's just... I can't play around everything. It's either... They have sweeper. They have... Uh, they have... Um, spot removal. They have a creature. Worst case is creature, right? So... Me not casting that is just... Worthless. But yeah, this matchup without the 5 damage is so bad. It's good. It's very good. Uh, now they know I have Snakeskin Veil, so... It's not, like, super good either. It's kind of, eh. You gotta play on cutdown. Yeah, it's gonna happen at some point. Ooh, yeah, I can't. I I can't beat it. I don't have the five damage. It's my fault. Maybe I just go. I think I had the board and guardian actually. Instead of scamp, you know, it's good against bad. I think aggro is fine. Actually, I think aggro is the best right now. I think it's clearly the best right now. I like Teamer is not fast enough anymore to beat Prowess. At least I think. Why not play Blood Control? I mean, it's a new format. Why? I'm not. I don't want to play like exactly the same decks that I've been playing the entire time. It's not as fun for me. Yeah, the bat is annoying. I guess because they're playing the bat, I kind of have to play Scamp. But what am I cutting? Maybe it's not that many guardians. Even though it's good. It's not like... If they have Preacher, I need Angel Fire. It's kind of... I need Indestructible, so... Balancing this out is hard. I think I do need Angel Fire. It gives haste too. It's like really, it's really important. I can't just play Guardians because then it's too many creatures, not enough spells, and I can't really cut the other creatures. That's kind of the problem. Hmm. 
That is not good. It's fine. Playable. I'm starting to think that maybe you'd want to start cutting like scamp and just play more spells that stack with the slick shot. Cause you can really kill stuff quickly. Or like, you can kill your opponent super fast. That's really unfortunate. Control beats aggro right now, it might. I don't know, it depends. It might. I guess I have to plot this. I, I can't. I have to. I have no creature. If I had another creature, I would just play it, but. That's good. Breaking that is massive, actually. So that means they probably don't have go for the throat, because I feel like otherwise they would cast it. It's kind of annoying. I mean, at this point, it's all in, right? It's pretty unfortunate. Okay, there are some faults to this strategy. Flooding is GG. It's it's very hard to get out of a flood, I think. Because you have no use. Like, there's not that much card advantage to take, take advantage of the amount of mana you have. I actually think Gruul... I like the way Gruul plays better than this, but I think this is more powerful because the, the peak, right? The peak power level for this is extremely high. I guess you do have mana usage with the disguise creature. But it comes in comes in pretty late. Rollback last card over Glissa is a mistake. At least I, I would say so. So this is a 4-4. Four, four. It's not worth it, I just do it now. That's good. It's very good. You can't. Oh, you can disguise. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it. But... Yeah, that's good. I might get out of this actually. That Kumano hitting the Lily is so huge. <laughs> 
Scary. Very scary. We're discarding, which is fine. <laughs> we all have things we'd rather forget. Now they know I have that, so... But, yeah, it's, it's still annoying. I feel like that's pretty greedy, but also not really. I don't know. That's a mistake. I think that's pretty greedy because I have a lot of opportunities to screw them. By, by leaving me with this, I can... Well, they even know. This is face up, so... Like, if they plus, they can't attack with us, basically. Because they'd have to double block. Yeah, they, they screwed themselves pretty hard there. I think the... I don't know, actually. That's a tough call for them. I feel like... It, okay, if you're going to attack, you have to double block, right? Yeah, well, actually, why would they even attack? I'm not even... I don't know. Kind of weird. The oh, prowess is an insane duck. It's the best duck right now, I think. It's not even close. I think no... Well, again, you can beat it. But it's just farming right now. I think it's... Okay, it's specifically, I'll, I'll say this. It's only as good as it is because everybody is playing like wild decks like decks that are just not very good really it's, that's that's it there's most people are experimenting there's a lot of like weird mid-range decks there's a lot of aggro mirrors in some aggro decks that are slower than prowess and prowess just farms those so the course can correct itself but people have to basically play less fun decks because right now it's kind of fun just experimenting with stuff right but You'd have to play stuff that's a little bit less fun to beat the uh, the craziness that is prowess. It just hits for it just kills from too far now. To be pressed, you need a lot of spot removal. Yeah, you need a lot. And most decks right now are just playing like their own creature curve out, and it's just not working because they're slower. That's what happened to me. I was just testing like, like even Gruel, which is a very good deck. It's just not. It's most of the time not fast enough. I think it's potentially okay, but you'd have to play a Gruel deck with like more spot removal, which is weird. Basically, you have to. You can't let them have a creature because it's just better than whatever you're doing. That's the problem. Damn, I have no trample. No trample's bad. Very bad. The fact that I have no trample here is very, very bad, actually. Because they have Vigilance and they have a thing that can generate... That can generate 1-1s. One which is annoying. I have to shut that off, otherwise it's just too problematic. Good. They hit the boss one, it makes things a little bit more awkward for me. Is 
is this a swing with everything? Wait a minute, I need to do the math. So it's it's three. Okay, assuming both of the biggest creatures get blocked, it would be this and this, and then then I have two, 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 and potential seven. It's not enough, right? I mean, I still do it, but it's like, I still, I still make a play, but it's not as good, obviously, as I'd want it to be, but it's, it's like, it's fine. I'll still have a blocker behind. They'll lose their blocker, I think. Now, what if they block only one of these? Then I, I kill their creature, but like... Am I dead on the swing back? I don't... I don't know, maybe? That's the tricky part here. No, I'm not going all in. I'm just saying like... Because here they have to block one, right? I'm just thinking, if they block one... Am I dying on the swing back? Probably not, right? Even if they activate the land, they would have to find exactly... I think it's fine. So they lost everything, and I still have four creatures. If they find path, I lose, but they already played one. Oh no, they played zero. Okay. Uh, eh. It is what it is, right? They'll lose the path someday. It's kind of annoying, because that's, that's plus three. Plus three is uh, not good for me. I think that's lethal. So this is representing one, two, three, four, ten. And they have to eat in response, so I'm good, right? That was pretty close. Again, I think green-black is in a fantastic spot to beat prowess decks. So this is definitely what you don't want to face as prowess, I think. Because green-black can afford to run a ton of spot removal spells, and their creatures are absolutely disgusting. So you have low interaction, they have high interaction, and their creatures... Like, it's a one-man army. They just play a creature, and you're slowly losing the game. But, like, all they need is one creature, whereas you need, like... You need your creatures, too, but you, they have removal, so it doesn't really work out.